Hello friends, subscribers and new viewers of this channel and welcome to Machine Learning and AI Tutorials. We are continuing strong with discovering new and exciting AI models and with explaining how to install and run them locally. Also, on this YouTube channel we explain how to install models and algorithms both on Windows and Linux Ubuntu. In this video tutorial, we are going to explain how to install and run locally one open source and AI powered financial platform that has a great potential. The name of this platform is OpenBB Platform. This is one of the first financial platforms that is completely free and fully open source. As you can see over here, it's written in Python. In this tutorial, we are going to explain how to install and use this platform on a Windows computer. However, if you are a Linux Ubuntu user, we are, have also created a separate video tutorial explaining how to use this platform on a Linux Ubuntu machine. A link will be provided in the description below. So let's immediately start. The first question is, how did I find this amazing software? Well, I often follow trending repositories on GitHub and as a surprise, I discovered that this model, or better to say this platform, has been trending on GitHub for the last several days, if not a week. Pay attention to this. This platform already has almost 4K stars, that is 40,000 people clicked, liked or starred. It has around 300 people watching and it has around 3,500 forks or even maybe downloads. And this means that a lot of developers and users are jumping on the train of developing this platform. And consequently, this platform has a great potential since there is a significant community behind it. And one of the most important things, it is completely free and fully open source. The OpenBB platform offers access to equity, options, crypto, forex, macroeconomy, fixed income, and more while also offering a broad range of extension to enhance the user experience according to their needs. And what I find very useful and what I like about this platform is that you don't need to register an API to start using it. The simplest approach is to install this platform in Python by using the standard approach pip install and if you want more capabilities and if you want to have a graphics user interface then you can get this workspace that is this dashboard over here for free this dashboard is truly amazing you have all sorts of things you have charts you have news you have analysts you have world economic analysis you have earnings updates and all sorts of things in addition to this you also have a large language model that is integrated inside of this user interface and over here you can do all sorts of things you can ask questions for example predict the market tell me why this stock is falling what is your prediction etc and this large language model will actually analyze news search internet obtain you in real time everything and give you the analysis and everything for free in addition to this or better to say this part i like the most is that you have a python interface that is you can actually access all information in Python, which enables you to build your own AI algorithm for trading or to analyze the stock market, to analyze financial news, to analyze earnings, everything more or less for free. And let me show you a brief demonstration before we start with installation procedure. Over here, I've wrote a simple script and this simple script will download Intel stock history that is it will download the time series of intel stock starting from january 1st 2025 with the time period of one hour and over here i'm using yahoo finance to get the data and i'm simply plotting the data once you execute this code you will obtain this amazing graph and then you can improve this graph by using for example filtering doing multi or doing moving averages doing all sorts of things computing bollinger bands even developing your backtesting algorithm and all sorts of things in addition you can actually interface python code with this graphics user interface over here and you can do amazing things 
And finally, you can even host any large language model since you have financial data in Python. You can provide this financial data as a tool to a large language model. You can develop an agent. You can do incredible things. Okay, let's start with installation. First of all, click here and open command prompt. Then I'm going to resize the screen and this command prompt window such that you can see what I'm typing and at the same time you can follow the commands given over here. First of all, go to the C root by typing this. So let's create a workspace folder. Let's call it, for example, test BB then navigate to this workspace folder and inside of this workspace folder we need to create a Python virtual environment. However, before to do, we do that, let's verify our Python version. You can see that I'm using Python 3.12. Now, my suggestion is to go with Python 3.10, 3.11 or 3.12. Don't go with the newest Python 3.13 I noticed that online a lot of people are reporting issues with different libraries inside of Python 3.13. Until Python 3.13 becomes more mature or not more mature before libraries are being pre-compiled and recompiled for Python 3.13, stick with, with these older Python versions. Next, let's create a Python virtual environment. To do that, we simply need to type this command. This will create the Python virtual environment called environment1. And after we create this Python virtual environment, let's now activate this Python virtual environment by typing this. And you can see that the environment is active. The next step is to install the necessary libraries. We need OpenBB, OpenBB with extensions, Pandas and Matplotlib to run the demonstration code in this video tutorial. So let's start with the OpenBB library. This will install the OpenBB library. However, you will still need to run a simple test code in order to build everything. This will take a while since you're downloading a lot of a lot of different Python packages. Then let's install the extension for OpenBB by running this. And finally, we will need to install pandas and matplotlib. Install pandas by running this command. And let's install matplotlib such that we can generate some plots. The next step is to create a test code and to run it. To create a test code, I'm going to use a Visual Studio code. To start the Visual Studio code, you need to type this. Of course, if you have Visual Studio code on your computer, if you don't have Visual Studio code on your computer, my suggestion is to install it. You have a, several video tutorials on my YouTube channel on how to install it. So let's click on File, New File, and let's call the file as test.py, press Enter, and let's save it over here. Now. This is a simple test code that will test the functionality and installation of this amazing platform. And let's see what's happening over here. You import OpenBB simply like this. That is, you simply type from OpenBB, import OBB. Then let's import matplotlib pyplot as plot and let's import pandas as pd. So what I will do over here. I'm going to use Yahoo Finance and I'm going to download Intel stock time series starting from 1st January 2025. I'm going to use a time interval of one hour. You can change this one hour either to one minute, one day, one week or one month. And what I will do once the data has been fetched or downloaded, I'm going to convert this to standard pandas data frame and I will store it in S. Then I will print S, that is you will just see the table. This table will contain columns and these columns will be for example opening price, close price, uh, then volume and all other financial indicators with the interval of one hour. 
And here you can change and you can use some other tickers, for example, SPY, you can use Apple, Microsoft, or anything you like, and any, anything that is provided by Yahoo Finance. Then what I will do over here, I'm simply going to plot the time series. Simply, I'm going to plot the close price. Okay, so let's run this code. To run this code, you need to press and hold Control Shift P. Then make sure that you type here or select Python Select Interpreter. Make sure that you select the interpreter from your virtual environment. And let's run this code and let's see what will happen. Let's wait and let's see. Okay, the first time you run this code, it's going to take a while to build this a library and extensions and you can see it over here that now we are building however the next time you try to run it you will not build and this code will be executed much faster and here it is here is a beautiful plot which shows the one hour period of Intel stock price starting from January 2025 we didn't show the remaining part you can see that last year Intel lost I think 50% of its value so it's really undervalued stock okay so this is a basic functionality of course this platform has enormous amount of things that you can do with and my suggestion is to go to this website docs.openbbb.co platform getting started and over here you can see small or actually not so small quite extensive documentation on what you can do you can download financial statements you can get indicators you can do all sorts of things this was the first approach for using OpenBB platform however OpenBB platform also provides a free AI powered research and analysis workspace or a dashboard so let's learn how to use it First of all, if you go to the GitHub repository and if you go over here and if you click on this link, you will be guided to this login web page. And consequently, since you probably don't have an account, click here to register your account, enter your email address, enter your password, then you will get a verification email, then you can click on a verification email and you will be able to use OpenBB dashboard here since I already have the account I'm simply going to log in with my credentials and after you log in oops let me just click here and continue and after login you will actually first of all have to select this free plan if you don't want to use more advanced plan and after you log in you will see something like this okay so let's explain what is this this is a dashboard and there are several interesting things over here. First of all, if you immediately want to see the stock prices, diagrams and all these things, you simply need to click here on my dashboard, charting dashboard and you can in enter the uh, symbol over here. You can go with Apple, you can go with Microsoft or whatever is available and you will see the classical candlesticks chart or time series then you can select here you can select bars candles line whatever you like to see okay then over here you can say you can select even the period one day one minute all sorts of things good then a nice thing over here is that you have these drawing tools you can draw the trends you can do all sorts of things over here then you have for example something like this which is super cool right you can see all sorts of analysis you can draw moving averages all sorts of things then if you click here you will see the news and since today is Sunday the news are not updated frequently however you can still see that the RSS feeds are relatively frequently being updated which is super interesting then you have this equity dash dashboard so you can do all sorts of analysis overview financials technical analysis, comparison analysis, ownership, company calendar, estimates. Then you can look into the basically world economics. You can see currencies. You can see all the interesting indicators. Then you can see earning updates. 
charting dashboard, new dashboard, etc. Good. Now, you can interface this graphics user interface with your Python code and you can obtain all this financial data and analysis inside of your Python script and then you can couple this with a large language model. Okay, so let's go back to news and let me show you one cool thing. Now, if you click here, or actually let me, let me now go back, let me close this. Here, I remove the widget, which is not a good idea. You shouldn't do that since you're currently learning. However, never mind. Let's remove this and now we're good. Okay, so let's click here and let's click over here and you will see that the OpenBB Copilot started. So what is an OpenB Copilot? OpenB Copilot is a large language model that is integrated with this software and you can ask questions over here as I ask, can you predict the market behavior from March 23 until July whatever 2025 and you will see all sorts of analysis and you will see the results. Of course, the most interesting thing over here is if you click here, you can add your own copilot. That is, you can add your own local large language model and you can actually couple it with this amazing software and you can develop amazing things. I'm not going to cover this in this video tutorial. In my future video tutorials, I'm going to explain how to couple a larger language model with this amazing application. Okay, this was just an intro tutorial to get you started and from here you can learn by yourself a lot of things or you can watch my future video tutorials. Okay, that's all for today. I hope that you like this video. If you like the videos I'm creating, please press the like and subscribe buttons and see you in the next video tutorial.